Dan Williams, survive outdoors announcement. We're only like 11, I think, 12 subscribers away from 500. At 500, we're doing a giveaway. So get your buddies, get your friends, get them to subscribe, and you're gonna like this giveaway. It's gonna be a little more than usual. So that's coming up. Second thing today is we're gonna do something on a wound care update. Rarely do I get to follow through with uh, and see the work that we do in the urgent care. Uh, so I had this gentleman come in. In fact, I showed you guys his hand. He totally evolved this side of his hand when he fell. Pretty significant laceration. And it was repaired, comes back four months later. Uh, he's happy, he's pleased with it. I'm gonna show you that because if you do the right things in the outdoors when you're injured, the outcome has a tremendous chance of, of looking good and be functioning. So here we go. So in the picture, you'll see where this guy's hand is. It's just evolves. The skin is evolved off when he fell down. And then four months later, here it is now, and it looks fantastic. And it's not because I did some fantastic job in suturing. Everything has to come together. So when you're injured in the outdoors, you want to irrigate the hell out of it. Irrigate, clean, irrigate, irrigate. And then you're going to bandage it. In fact, this is one that I had on a previous video where I said you don't need to use a tourniquet on this. Direct pressure, wrap it up, we'll be fine. As long as you get in within 24 hours, hey, we're going to close that no problem. So you're in the outdoors. This guy has this avulsion. And you irrigate the heck out of it, bandage it, get in before 24 hours. Now, if you can't, and you're on an expedition, let's say you get it in two days, we can still close that, but then I have to excise, take a scalpel, excise the margins, and even on the inside, a lot of times I have to take away some subcutaneous tissue to get some viable blood flow, and then we can close that and be on heavy duty antibiotics to make sure it doesn't get infected, and make sure his tetanus is updated. So I wanna show you the outcome because a lot of times it's important to see. Everybody shows all the gross trauma, but we don't get to see the outcome. So here's a chance to see the outcome of this hand. And it's just a brief video and then some redundancy to tell you again what to do if you're in the outdoors. That's it. That's all we have for today. Keep your eyes on the rise and your face to the wind. I'll see you next time, guys.